Welcome to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower, where we do our best to give you useful information in 20 minutes or less. Now, here's your host, five-time Voice Arts Awards nominee, David Brower. Thanks, Alan. This is David Brower with your 20-minute podcast, and here's part two of our conversation with Angela Lenhart. I don't know, you know, who to be besides myself, and there were times that I had tried to be someone else and that clearly didn't work. Yep. So I just thought the heck with this, I'm going to be myself. And, and he, he, pretty soon you just become like a duck and let the water roll up your back. And, yeah. and I've learned to not take pretty much anything too seriously and take it with all a grain of salt. And, and you know, if there's one thing that I know is that, is that your, my faith, um, is what has gotten me everywhere. Yep. And if you know if if someone is stuck in their life and they need that next step, that first step to knowing what that next step is is to get quiet and to become silent and to ask yourself who am I? Yeah. Because without knowing that and connecting with that that knowingness and that power and when I say power it is it's this inner power that will move you. Um you could be operating off of old patterns and habits and unconscious beliefs and et cetera, et cetera. So if you know if people get stuck in life, just stop and take a deep breath and connect and then move. But um, you know that haste, you know hasty reactions and and uh, reactive responses aren't necessarily always the right step. You have absolutely. to absolutely. You have to you have to step back for at least a couple seconds and then you make your move. And that's where I found my greatest blessings, as well as um, con- connection with God. So. so in the silence thing, I had the blessing of going to a four-day, three-night silence meditation retreat at St. Benedict's Monastery in Snowmass, Colorado, just a cool. couple of months ago. Whole new experience mm-hmm. for me. Had no clue what would be expected. I knew that I had to disconnect from all of my electronics, which I'm connected more than I should be, but that's what it is. And mm-hmm. and my biggest concern, I wasn't really concerned about the electronics. My biggest concern was, am I going to be able to to be present? I'm not always able to do that in different scenarios, different circumstances. And and so to walk into that monastery and meet fourteen complete strangers and feel present in the experience after about twenty minutes was before we even did anything Mm -hmm. that was life-changing to me because our goal was to be silent as you say and that could mean prayer that could mean hiking that could be walking that could be writing that could be drawing that could be countless things but the first full, full day we were quiet for 17 hours the second full day we were quiet for 15 hours And so to be able to spend that kind of quality silence, which is totally foreign to this guy, that's a life changer. (laughs) Well, yes. And, and it's a life changer because the mind isn't used to it and it will fight you every step of the way, every every opportunity, your mind slash ego gets an opportunity to voice their, uh, to, to voice its insecurities, you know, doubts, fears, you know, this is, silly, why are you doing this? You're wasting time. You know, whatever yeah. that that chatter is that goes through the head constantly, constantly. Um, it doesn't want, yeah, constantly. It does not want you to be quiet yeah. and to listen. And I, and I truly believe that um, in order to hear divine wisdom, you've got to be able to shut that mind down for for a couple of seconds, because you you can't hear otherwise. There's, yeah, just, the message becomes convoluted. It does. Um, and a couple of seconds is message. right. I mean, a couple of seconds is not brain surgery. You know, a couple no. of seconds, five or ten seconds of of dipping your toe in the water of true, honest, authentic silence. Holy mm-hmm. buckets, as my wife would say. That's just uh, you. Just go. Oh well, let's do that again. That was kind of interesting. <laughs> It, it, it's fascinating, and it's it's really a magical it's it's a magical space. It's it is. the it's the gap, you know. It's that space in between the notes. It's that yeah. space in between the words that carry the vibration, that carry the wisdom, that carry the that carry 
everything that you need to know in that particular moment. And it's it's all precisely in that moment. Um, You know, we often we want to, you know, go into the future and and predict our lives. And everything that I predicted for my own life really has never come true. Like, none of it. So it's all all gone the opposite direction. But if I take a step back and I look at it, I go, this is what I really wanted, (laughs) rather than this is what I thought that I wanted. So I, I, I'm always grateful. It's like, okay, God had a way better plan for me than I had a plan for me. Exactly. And there's a song in there somewhere. (laughs) Well, the other thing, Willie Nelson. Yeah. Right. There's a, and there's another (laughs) interesting part of that retreat because you and I both have strong faith and, and we believe what we believe for our own reasons. But, with that said, there were people at this retreat who were either agnostics, atheists, didn't make any difference. Most of us had faith of some way, shape, or form, but it wasn't, that particular four-day, three-night wasn't about faith. It was about silence and meditation, which is all about looking at, you'll say this better than I, but it's all about looking at the inside of you and what's in there and what needs to be brought out and how can it be brought out to be a truly meaningful experience, not only for you, but the people around you, which is what happened with us. Well, it's, as I learned from experiences, you know, it's always the right combination of people that are always brought together um, in what it looks like an organized workshop, you know, and it's, it's truly the, the energy that everybody gives off and the right people who are there are supposed to be there, whether you are agnostic or Catholic or, you know, Buddhist or, or Hindu, yeah. Yeah. whatever. There's always an awakening that happens. And the awakening is through this, this certain combination of people that bring forth this wisdom, because we all carry this wisdom. We do. Within us. Yeah. And it, it sometimes it takes a certain word or maybe a phrase of words or just somebody that sits next to you that can hold the space for a higher vibration yep. creates this inner shift. And that's what the, the silent retreats are truly about. It's just about going within and seeking those inner answers, the, the inner wisdom. Wow. So when, when you're, is that what you, is that what you do? I mean, is that what you bring to people, people's lives when you meet with them one-on-one or in, or in groups, what, you know, how does that work? I'm a, I'm a new guy. I want to put my toe in the water. Gosh, dang it, Angela. I don't know what to do. Where are you, <laughs> right. you going to begin? You, right? I know. Where are you going to start? Where are you going to start uh, with that? Right. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's challenging. For uh, sure. Well, during workshops, it depends on what, which, which workshop uh, people are coming to. Often times I offer an intuition workshop where, we go within and we do a silent meditation and it's usually that I, it's a guided meditation where I guide you through the silence. Good. Um, and then there are other workshops that I put together where the, which they're, they're guided or geared towards healing. So mm-hmm. it's usually a Reiki workshop, so it's hands-on healing. Mm-hmm. So most often, you know, massage therapists or people who are in the healing profession come to my workshops because they want to amplify their own vibration as well as learn new techniques. Yeah. Um, I, I've studied around the world the various techniques and modalities and, and been given uh, tools by many masters. And so I just continue to share that wisdom with whoever, whoever shows up, whoever wants to come. And, and whether they know it or not, they show up for a reason. They do. You know, most of the time people who come to my workshops they they will say that they've stumbled upon my name or they don't even know why they're there. Right. Um, it's 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 interesting how I find my clients or my my book finds its way into people's houses or at the library or I don't know. I mean, I even received an email because one woman actually ordered one book and my book was the one that showed up out of her house. Oh my god! <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. So I mean. I guess Amazon made made a mistake, and my book showed up, and she sent me an email, and she's like, you've changed my life. And, and to me, I, I, I truly just sat down and cried because I was like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. 
Right. I cannot believe that just happened because she was looking for something totally off, you know, totally yeah. off the beaten path. And my book showed up. And, and as you were, I, as I, you were, absolutely. you were looking, for, right? You're looking for stuff totally off the beaten path. And uh oh, guess what? I'm not taking that guess road. Guess what showed up? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. my God. You know, we, I mean, we all, we're, <sighs> we're so, every one of us, every one of us is so guided. Yeah. But the, but if you can recognize it and you know it, you've just put yourself in a different on a on a different baseball field. You you just chosen a path that you will feel supported on and and loved. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's easy. I mean, well, gosh, it's no. never. It's never. No, easy. I mean, you, it's never easy. You got to put the effort out there. You have to um, learn. You've got to build skills you have to just keep keep going you know regardless of what the outside world is reflecting but my accomplishments did not come from people you know always standing on the sidelines giving me the thumbs up (laughs) or you know you're doing the right thing yeah pat on the back (laughs) there goes angela (laughs) there was none of that you know the, the very few opportunities have come along where people are like, okay, you know, this is, you're doing the right thing, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But I just knew in my heart, I'm going to go forward. And, and if I fail, I don't care. It's almost like I don't care anymore. Right. Cause after you fail so many times, it's like, well, who cares? I know I can stand up and dust myself off. Well, yeah. And then, and then it, pretty soon, it doesn't matter anymore. You're just, you're just interested in taking a risk yeah. and going, I wonder what's going to happen. And if you can approach it, like, I wonder what's going to happen or that element of curiosity now you've opened up a, a, a new doorway to the possibilities. Yeah. And but you, you, have, and, you have to be able to stand in that doorway yeah. and not expect anything, but just be open to anything. Absolutely. Have the desire. Yeah. Right? <laughs> the, the, the desire and the, uh, the willpower. Willpower, you know, yeah, that, that inner, inner strength that you talk about. And one of your workshops... Uh, that you actually you had it right here in my own hometown about blocks from where i live it was on um it was an interactive workshop uh to help people master their intuitive intelligence and spiritual uh, connection that had to be fascinating it was that a was that a i'm sure that's not the first time you've done that kind of workshop how do those how do those work that i'm interested in that well it i find a location or uh usually seek out someone who will is willing to host Mm-hmm. Um, one of my workshops, and then I send out an email and post it on social media, and we'll see who shows up. And you know, depending on the the location and the venue size, right. determines the you know number of people that can come to a workshop. So it's usually first come first serve basis. Sure. But it's you know I've led groups as small as three mm-hmm. and as large as 150. So I think it just. Um, it, it depends about the nature of the workshop. Right. And to be honest, I can feel what workshop needs to be offered when before I post it. I mean, I really sit sit with it and go, okay. This is not a, this is not a shotgun approach um, to just throw stuff out there in the universe and see what sticks. This is a very intuitive no. approach about you sensing what people need, when they need it, where they need it, how they need it, and then... A few of those people, if not many, show up going, hmm, wonder why I'm here. I guess I'll, uh, guess right. I'll pay attention, right? That's exactly how it happens. Um, you you nailed it. And it's, uh, I'll, I'll wake up in the morning and I will be, you know, I will be inspired mm-hmm. to talk about this or that. Yeah. And that's, that's how I run all my social media. I, I, I don't think, I don't have a planner. There's, there's really not a big plan to my life. I have goals and I think about, okay, I have these goals and okay, what is it going to take to accomplish these goals? And so I just kind of do my daily habits around what I want to accomplish. Well, you have the intent, you have the big picture intention, which not a lot of us understand, let alone are available, but you you have that big picture out there and then you improve. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. And then your daily actions that come to you daily uh, help move you towards 
that big picture without you controlling it. I mean, you can't control to get to the big picture. It has to happen, right? Uh, correct. I mean, it you you can you can't control the the choices that you make, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know, there are times when the mind or the ego says go this way, but your deeper knowing says no. You're going to go do this first. Yep. You've got to go do that first. Yep. Even though it isn't the most convenient way, even though it might cost you money, even though it, you might have to sit in traffic for an extra hour and a half, you have no idea. So it's it's being able to discern between what voice is actually speaking to you. Mm-hmm. So that's part of the workshop. That's part of nice. the, what I teach is how do you discern between that, that true voice of wisdom slash intuition versus, you know, living your life based off of your ego or um, subconscious pattern. Mm-hmm. Well, and the other because part that, of that is it's it's so easy, no matter what the scenario, I think, it's so easy to take the least path of resistance, which is often the wrong thing, the wrong road, the wrong place to go. And be, instead of being patient and listening and calm and silent, if you will, and go, all right, I guess I'm going to be open to this. It's going to be a lot harder. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to put my toe in the water and see. It's just so much easier to not do the right thing. It is. It's, 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 well, it's easier to do the easy thing. There you go. There it's, you go. Well, you know, said. when when you're really on your soul's, when you're doing what your soul says you're, you're here to do, right. it, it's actually pretty easy. It, it's really easy honestly, yeah. um, because, and that's where the universe is, and that's where God just says, you know what, this is the next thing, this is the next thing, this is the next thing. Yeah. So it's always put in front of you, but you have to be able to have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Wow. That's where it comes in. <laughs> I'm not sure I've <laughs> and, ha- and like I said, yeah. you Go have ahead. to be able to discern. You have to, be, be, because the messages aren't always clear, because they become convoluted. They become convoluted, and, and your our own inner vibration, so the energy that we're putting out. So that's why we have to really have that deep sense of awareness, because where we are vibrationally is what we attract. That's, you know, as we've heard that time and time again. And if there are less life lessons that need to be mastered, but within that vibration, you're going to learn them one way or another. I'll give you a brief, brief example of that. Perfect. So I'm living in California. I have five, my five best friends are all women. I was raised by basically a single mom and her five sisters. So why wouldn't my best friends be women? Right. And so, <laughs> right? so my best friends are women and, uh, my, my wife now, she wasn't at the time, but my wife, I brought her down to California or no, she was actually, it was after we got married. I took her back to California and, and so she could meet my five friends. And I told her, I said, you know, if, if you look at each one of those five women and pay attention to what I felt was the most important part of their personality, their soul, the way they live their life, Mm -hmm. all five of those pieces are in you. And that's why I was attracted to you because all of my Absolutely. five best friends are in your heart. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a game changer right there. Yeah. Is that when you truly know what it is that feeds your spirit, that feeds right. your heart, then you go and you collect those people that do just that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's where you surround yourself with the people that uh, that you want to be like, right? Uh, that that you uh, aspire to be with. All right, I'm done with the goosebumps. <laughs> I'm over it. Let's move on. <laughs> hey, folks, we we are out of time. Seriously, so let's go to folks. Go to Angela Lenhart again. A N G E L A L E N H A R D T. Angela Lenhart dot com. Uh, you'll learn about her classes or workshops. She's got a great blog. You can order both her books, speaking engagements, all of her services from individual services to uh, business consulting. And um, you'll have a wonderful time as we just did for the last 40 minutes. Angela, I can't thank you enough for spending the time with us today. Well, my pleasure. Thank you again for the opportunity. Listen to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower on the go. Downloads are available on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, any podcast app, and on our website at davidbrowervo.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Until next time, thank you for listening.